Hey guys, during last summer, I had an awful ordeal whereby the billing system I was using called Hiverge, um, I complained about it as I do <laughs> on my blog, and they basically decided to kick me off the service. And I documented um, the the sort of the disaster of leaving them in a very long blog. And um, it turns out that leaving this service was a huge pain in the ass. In fact, they didn't give me all the data I needed to continue my business. Um, so, yeah, I was I was really burnt uh, by this, um, ruined my summer holiday, and I have no love for Hiverge. And um, and as a result, I, I did look at the options and I decided to implement my own billing system. And this video is about that billing system. So let me just walk through from the beginning to end of how my billing system works. Uh, first, um, um, I have this form here. So when people go to my uh, company's webpage, bookverge.com, and then want to quote, um, that's where the billing starts. And the customer then puts in their details like, uh, let's go, John Doe, Acme, one, two, three, uh, Fubar Street or something, London, uh, some stupid postcode, and and the email is important. Um, let's go Hendry at Fubar at key dot feet, and let's go example.com or something. And then they say I want like you know five subscriptions, and they want them annually, and they might even put some notes. Anyway, so they submit that. Great. The submission's done. And now I get an email. I won't show you that, but um, the next bit is for me to raise the quote. And I do that um, by uh, this sort of script. The quote appears, what is the day today? 15, 10, 11. The quote would appear here. And that should just raise an raise a invoice or a quote. Let me uh, load that up for you. So you can have a look at that. Oops. Sorry, my copy and pasting is a bit balked. So this is it. This is what um, the invoice looks like. Um, I wanted five subscriptions, annual, Acme, John Doe. So basically, I collect the, um, the contact information. I put them in the invoice. And... And that's pretty much ready to go. So all the customer has to do now is, well, th there's two things that can happen. They can approve the quote. And if that happens, I simply um, edit edit this to say it's no longer a quote. And now it's, uh, sorry, an invoice. As you can see, it's changed to invoice. And, oh, sorry about that noise. And uh, once it's an invoice, all the customer do, does, I mean, this this is a unique error, a URL. Um, it's sort of secret by this little sort of random hash here. It's unguessable. All the customer has to do now is, is click make payment. Um, and that redirects to PayPal, and they can either put their credit card in, or they can pay by uh, PayPal. Oh, there's one uh, very cool thing I like about this. Um, if you look at the source, I've added a, a key event handler whereby if I press E, I immediately um, sort of template an email to sort of send the invoice to um, the customer. As you can see, I just press E and it sort of generates a thing and all I have to do is look it over, maybe say hello and add some other details and, and click send. It's that simple. So yeah, I, I, that's my BTB billing system. It's implemented in a few hundred lines of PHP, I guess. Um, what else is there? There is also, I can't really show you because it has too much of uh, customer information on them, also my business information. But there's, I also have like a PHP um, sort of script that sort of tabulizes all my last transactions and gives me summary about um, money outstanding, how much money I've taken. So that's my billing system. And so far, it's been a lot of work, and I'm, but I'm glad I've done it. But at the same time, I really wish Hivage didn't burn me like they did. And um, I think I will open source this. If there's anyone who's looking at this video and, and interested in looking at the source, I'm, I'm happy to, to supply it to you. 
and maybe I can turn it into a, a, a little side project pro product. I don't know. Tell me what you think. I think it's beautifully simple and I love it. And hopefully my customers agree. And um, I hope you found um, this useful. And please get in contact with me if you're interested. See ya.